Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Jenna. Long time no see. I feel like it has been a while since I've talked to the camera. Probably because it's been a good, I think it's been a week since I've filmed actually. Just because I try to get things so far ahead with everything going on with spring break, the kids spring break, the surgeries, my stepdad, just everything. I wanted to get everything ahead of time. And so now that time is caught up I'm here in front of the camera again yesterday was my first day back and it was the kids first day of spring break and we pretty much just played and chilled because I was just so mentally exhausted I mean physically exhausted a little bit but more mental exhaustion than anything to be honest but I have got to get my butt in gear because again I said I'm behind I am behind I have a lot to get done with the house, with the laundry, uh, bills, uh, some editing, emails, of course, and then add in playing with the kids, feeding the kids, doing all of the good stuff right now. They're kind of doing some drawing and crafts and whatnot. Xavier's taking a nap and of course working out. I've been working out yesterday. I worked out and it was the best workout I've ever had. I felt so good and determined. We'll see how today goes. Every morning it is important for me to take my magic mind shot and I call it a shot because I just go ahead and drink it all at once. You can put it in a smoothie but this is incorporated into my daily routine. I have this right after I'm done with my breakfast and my coffee. This is not a caffeine replacement. You can still have your morning coffee and then drink this either before or after whenever suits your schedule your life best. I like drinking mine after I'm done with my coffee and breakfast because it just gives me a huge boost in energy and I feel super productive. I have so much that I need to get done today catching up, being back from this chaotic week with everything going on and so Magic Mind is going to help me out a ton today. Plus it's spring break and all of my kids are home and so I definitely need this. So good. It just gets better every single day that I drink this. I mean, I've been drinking this for two weeks now and I love it, you guys. Definitely check out Magic Mind. Magic Mind is a mental performance shot that makes you think better and faster while reducing stress. Magic Mind is 100% safe and it is not a quick fix. Some of the ingredients take three to four days to reach their full effect and so I have been taking Magic Mind daily and I definitely feel a difference as of the first you know, couple days versus after a week of taking Magic Mind. And thank you so much Magic Mind for sponsoring today's video you guys know that I love my magic mind I have talked about it before and it's just great it is I didn't get to show you guys but Zach got the play set all finished he got this finished when I was at my stepdad's surgery um, I had Xavier with me he had the older three kids and Navy was napping he was out here playing with the other two and so he just came out here and got it done I'm really proud of him he did a really good job getting it done with the kids and such uh, he just had to put the roof on up top and then a couple of things down below but I mean it looks really really good and the kids love it they've been playing on it non-stop yesterday they played out here for about four hours and it's not like super warm they had on their winter coats and everything I mean it was like 50 degrees but they were just loving it and such a great investment that we made getting this place at I mean seriously so so worth it they love it and seeing their smiles is just cherry on top of it all I am looking a hot mess, but it's fine. It's Easter spring break, you know, it's fine. It's fine. So I thought I would come on here and thank you guys, first off, for being so supportive and great 
on my last vlog, not the video with the Easter baskets, but the one before that. I want to thank you guys seriously so much. Uh, I love all of your encouragement and positive words and your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, it was a long day, but it ended up having a good outcome, which is great. We had to travel to go to like where he's having his surgery at, and they called like the night before to tell us what time it was. And so I was up at 3:30 in the morning. My grandma spent the night, and she drove with me because Zach stayed home with the other three kids. Uh, two of them had school. Anyways, I woke up at 3:30, and we left by before by five. I think it was 4:55, 5 a.m. We left to go to the hospital. Me, my grandma, and Xavier. We left. We got to see him right before he went into his surgery, which was the whole reason why. You know, we woke up early, did everything. We wanted to see him before he went in. He had his surgery, and it didn't take as long as what they thought. His recovery was a little bit longer, but that's just because they wanted to make sure everything was good before taking him to his room. And that went really well. And basically, I could tell you that they got all of the tumor out, which is amazing. They sent that to lab and stuff. And yeah, there was some other stuff. But I'm just going to tell you the big part of that is that they did get the tumor out and it is amazing so very exciting um we'll just kind of see and go from there after this but he is in recovery they are there and hopefully you know he gets to come home soon they gave like a range of time and so they're not really sure when but he is recovering well and i just want to thank you all so much for all of the support and love on that video when i told you guys like i just kind of like to you know it's not my health it's not my life. I mean, yes, it is my life because it affects me in a way. And so I didn't feel like it was my way to share. I mean, it is my life, but it's not like... You guys get it. You guys know what I mean. It's not me personally that has it. And so that's why I didn't kind of go along and share along the way and such. While we were, um, you know, waiting at the hospital and stuff, my uh, one of my grandmas gave me a card, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, my, it's a birthday card! My birthday's next week!" <laughs> like I just, whoo, went right over my head. And then I realized, "Oh my gosh, I have to renew my license," and so I got to find time to do that because I don't want to bring all the kids with me because it's chaotic every time. Let me know if it's in your area like this, but every time I go to the BMV. it's insane. It is so busy. There are so many people there, and there's always such a long line. And it would just be insane me trying to get my driver's license photo done if I had to bring three out of the four kids because Savannah would be at school. And so I have to find the time to do that. I might try to go do that tomorrow morning because they are open on Saturday. So I'm going to try to do that and see. Hopefully it's not that busy because then I can just go by myself. Like I don't have to take any of the kids with me instead of just having like, you know, someone come watch the kids and I take Xavier and... Yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I need to go get that done tomorrow, which means I have to wash my hair tonight and shower and look cute for my picture. So my birthday is April 6th, and I actually, so like COVID was going on in 2020, you know, and the BMV was closed, like they weren't doing anything, so they extended it. And then I got my driver's license done right after Maverick was born. So I was two weeks postpartum because they finally opened up June 1st. I gave birth to him that day, so I couldn't go. And then, you know, like when I went in there and stuff, you know, cause they give you, they gave you like the whole month of June or something. And so it was super crazy busy that day when we went, I went and I got it done. I was two weeks postpartum. And this time around, I obviously am not. And so I just, I have to find the time to do that. That's basically a long story short. I have to figure out the time to do that. And I want to do it before my birthday because we are in the range of the eclipse in Ohio and uh i'm not going to be leaving that weekend because i'm assuming that every like we're supposed to get like a huge surge of people they're expecting it to double our population and that's going to be a lot of people in my area a lot of people like it's going to be it's going to be if, if it does happen like a lot of people come in our area it's gonna be wild i'm not going to leave that weekend none of us are zach is actually off that day april 8th is when the eclipse is supposed to come he's off work the kids don't have school we're all going to be home i'm going to film it uh, i'm going to put I'm gonna try to put glasses over my camera and film it. I think it's gonna be really cool. 
It'll be like once in a lifetime for us. Maybe my kids will be able to see it. It'll be in $20.99. The next one I think is when it said. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm going to film it and it'll be fun. I'm going to film it for like a family thing, like for our D or like, you know, for a DVD home video. So then the kids could watch it later on and it'll be fun. Like, you know, in the far future when Zach and I pass and we're no longer around. I mean, I very well could still be alive in 2099. I'd just be 104 years old. You know, I could, I could, you just never know. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, if I am still around, I hope I still have my mind and I'm not, you know, completely gone. Just watch me break had to pull my hair back uh, but we had some outside play time we just did some baths in bed for the kids Xavier's laying here he's super happy right now and I'm going to get some work done I have some computer work I need to get done I'm also going to be researching and looking up some different back and core and leg workouts that I can start incorporating in my everyday routine. I think that'll really help and I think it'll be a good refresher and so I'm going to look up some of those as well but I have my uh, calendar up here to go over April and then I have my little work notebook that I have I need to write some things down in. Alright you guys, well I'm going to end today's video here. I was going to fold laundry, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm so tired and oh man, I'm tired. I just want to relax, watch my show, chill and yeah. It's been, it's been a week that's for sure. I'm so glad it's the weekend. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys would like to see more. And thank you so much, Magic Mind, for sponsoring today's video. I will see you guys in the next one.